The first leg of our mission was successful. We made it across the Gulf Stream. Uh, it was a little rough. It was gorgeous, heavenly when we got to the other side. As you can see, Peterson, it's not like back home in the United States. We're driving on the opposite, I repeat, the opposite side of the road here. We're here with one of the locals. This gentleman has been on the island his whole life. Like good detectives. We started investigating, talking to locals. About five years ago, I was hospitalized. And some experiences that I came out with is still up in question. Do you think you were potentially abducted? I was not abducted, no. I was, uh, I had pneumonia. Mm. And so I had a lot of fluid in my body. And so they had to defluid me. Do you think that it's possible for aliens to get pneumonia? I learned all my tactics watching Dog the Bounty Hunter on A&E. When you say aliens, you're talking about creatures? Michael Bay, the director of Armageddon, the director of Bad Boys, Michael Bay, the director of the Transformer series, has financed a research group. We're working with Dr. Sergio Oliveira. He's the director of UFO and Alien Research in Fort Lauderdale. Uh -huh. They have paid for us to come down here on a mothership okay. to study UFO and alien phenomenon. Have you had any occurrences like that in the sky, Sierra? No. No. You heard it here first. The man had pneumonia. He was in a coma. He saw some weird shit, but he does not believe, and I repeat, he does not believe there's any correlation between what he saw, which he believes strongly in, and alien activity here in the Bahamas. No. 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 Heard it firsthand. These guys were very close lipped. Uh, I guess there's extraterrestrial and UFO researchers that come in and out of there following clues all the time. Uh, these guys don't like uh, strangers, so it was very hard to break in. Luckily, we interviewed a couple of the locals there and they did tell us about phenomena in the skies. Uh, they did tell us about unexplained lights. And he kept saying, go to this bar and you'll find what you're looking for. So I went to the bar and it all made sense. So our clues in our investigation has led us to this, the oldest bar here in Bimini in the Bahamas. There was yet another treasure hunter that disappeared one night on his investigation. But these guys, and I'm telling you, it's a religious place. They don't like talking about it. We got one guy to talk, and he led us here. He said that there's a clue amongst all these dollars. There's a clue to what happened with the treasure and the map that was implanted in Feldstein's head. So we're looking around for clues now. And there was thousands and thousands of dollars, dollar bills that were stapled up there. I don't know how it survives uh, hurricanes and so forth, but they had been up there for years. Here amongst all the dollars, we find a crumpled up old dollar. It looks like it's been there for 15, 20 years. It has Feldstein's name on it, north and south, and seems to be having some islands drawn on it. That one dollar bill, we were astonished. We were shocked to see it. the word Feldstein. You can't fake this, Peterson. We found a clue. We're gonna have to take this with us. Now, getting excited, we could only assume that it was our Dr. Feldstein, uh, but it could have been any Feldstein. But as we look closer, there seemed to have been a drawing on it of miniature islands and a north and a south. And the south, of course, was pointing towards the Berry Islands, which was the natural, logical destination of our investigation. And we're here now. Of course, a storm sidewinded us into this harbor, and we're delayed a few hours till it passes. So Michael Bay has instructed us to break out the artificial lures from our new business at Starfish and test the Michael Bay Ladybug Lure. Join us. I got a small fish. Get ready, Peter. Peter, so he's trying to shake loose. Yellow tail, yellow tail. No, no, what is this? Oh, we got it, really? Oh, really? Oh, it's no we gotta get, We gotta get him in. It's either a remora or a Kobe. If it's a Kobe, it's very trophy. Oh, cool. Wait, 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 wait. See the sucker on the head? He's suctioning to the, the, the floor. Yeah, I got the fish for you, Booby. He's suctioning to the floor. I can't turn it off. He has a suction on his head. Uh-huh, he does. <laughs> we just caught a remora fish. I've seen them eaten on YouTube. Uh, not typically a fish for dinner fare, but what the remora does, it sucks onto the bottom of a big host, like a shark. And then when the shark eats, it unsucks, it goes and eats the bits and pieces from the shark's meal right back onto the shark and uses him as a taxi cab, so to speak. Oh, there you go, fish There's obviously fish here, so go to work. Oh wow, that barracuda bit its tail off. 
Oh, oh there it is. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, oh, Bring it up. Oh, Delicious. Strawberry group are beautiful. The owner of the boat is slightly panicked because uh, I have now convinced the captain. I told the captain that I would triple uh, his payment for the week if he pretended that there was an issue with the communications and that we were stranded in the Bahamas. Because as you know, with Dr. Feldstein's life on the line, we do not have the luxury of turning around and heading back to the mainland.